I've got a weird one. Uh, the complaint is that it runs and dies. It bucks and snorts and pops through the intake and the exhaust. It backfires at some points. It's not a fuel issue. I've ruled that out, but it will run and die. And I suspected that it might be the resistor on the end of the spark plug wire. And that is not it. And uh, what's happening is this thing is losing fire. It's losing spark at half throttle. And that tells me the internal workings of the ignition coil that control timing is failed, even though it's sparking. When it revs up to a certain point, it just loses spark. And I'm gonna to try to film this so you can see it. I'm gonna crank it up. It's gonna be arcing in between the spark plug wire and the spark plug uh, terminal there. And I'm gonna rev it up a little bit here on the carburetor manually. And I want you to watch this thing lose fire. Now I have the engine uh, isolated from the machine. So when you unhook this connector here, this black wire is the kill wire to the coil. So there's nothing downstream of the engine that could cause it to lose fire. Because this plug goes straight into the engine right here with a rubber grommet. You got your two charge wires and the kill wire going into the engine there. So whenever we, and you know, I've modified this spark plug so that we can see the spark, and I'm hoping that we can, let me go ahead and crank it up. I'm gonna crank it and it'll lose fire and die. And it'll recrank, it'll have fire and die. the weirdest thing. And just go straight to the engine like it's supposed to. Try it again. And it'll die. Try it again. So it's got to be the coil and we'll get one in. Alrighty guys, we got the ignition coil in. I actually, we actually had one there at the central hub. Uh, it actually fits a Kawasaki FE350 as well as the FE290D. It's the same coil. And so we had one in stock. I went ahead and removed the air filter and that's gonna gain us clearance. I'm gonna remove the air filter bracket here, and then we'll start removing uh, the blower shroud bolts. Pretty straightforward repair. Now, once you get all your blower shroud bolts uh, loosened up, uh, the top ones up here, you can just leave the screws in there because the blower shroud is notched here and here. But on the bottom, on, this, on a gator, you have this brake linkage and this lip here. You're not gonna be able to remove this uh, blower shroud all the way, but that's okay. You can get it out of the way enough to get in here to the coil, no problem. So whenever you get the coil and you get your wrench, you got plenty of room to get in here and set the gap and get a wrench in here. So we're just going to unloosen or loosen, I don't guess unloosen is a proper term, but just get your coils, bolts taken out. Just take it on out of there.
make your pull the wire down and we're going to remove the coil wire kill wire right here and snake her out of there Careful of your linkage up here. Bend it just a little bit to get that out, but I wouldn't force it too much. And that coil is out of there. Now the only the only thing you'll have to transfer is your resistor and the grommet that fits the blower shroud. But just make sure that everything's lined up. You know, the coil's the same, the wire length is the same. But if you're working on a Kawasaki engine with the FE290D and the John Deere Gator, there's the part number right there, 21171-2207. All righty, we got the new coil installed. I've got about an eight to 10 thousandths air gap between the flywheel magnet there i've already taken my strip of uh ten thousandths feeler gauge material out of there as you can tell the flywheel is a little bit rusty but we're not too concerned about rust at this point if you uh feel the need you can clean the flywheel with sandpaper but that's not going to keep it from sparking i can guarantee you but anyway let's go ahead and get this blower shroud pushed back up over the top two posts here and before we spend the time to bolt it all completely up let's give it a test all right let's give it a crank going one more time put a new coil on it and that fixed the issue one and we'll see you guys on the next one.